I'm here with Ricky Tulos of the Pearland Oilers. How are you doing this morning, Coach? I'm doing good, Tony. Good to see you. How are you and your family holding up? Man, we're uh, we're doing well. We've had uh, you know an opportunity to get to hang out a little more together. Uh, obviously, being being inside together a little more, uh, which is a good thing. Like I said, uh, you know, I think anytime there's you know, some negative like we've dealt with the last two or three months. There's, there's always a lot of positive in that. And, and the one thing is to get a chance to see your family a little more uh, than normal. And, and definitely from a coaching standpoint, we're, we're gone quite a bit. And it's an opportunity to, to get to sit back and, and, and visit and see each other a little bit more. So, um, you know, we've taken advantage of that and uh, made the most of it. But we're, we're definitely – I think the whole family's ready to get back to normal and, and definitely get back to seeing our kids and, and making a difference and impacting those guys uh, on a daily basis. So uh, talk a little bit about that. What are you doing to keep contact with your, uh, with your athletes, uh, with your students, and uh, to keep them on point? Because this will end. And if the work hasn't been being put in. It's going to show. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I don't know if there's a right or wrong. It's definitely uncharted waters for everyone. Um, you know, the, the approach that we took uh, as a program, whenever we got out after spring break, <clears throat> you know, I instructed all of our position coaches to reach out to their kids, their position kids, and, and one, uh, check on them and see how they're doing. Uh, and that was early um, as they're kind of launching the online learning and, and all those good things. Um, and I really, I told our staff, I don't want it to be a burden on our kids uh, early on. Everybody, it's new for everyone, and, and obviously families are uh, first and foremost, and they need to take care of their family and, and, and kind of see where this thing's uh, going to hit. Um, so that was kind of the mindset early on. I didn't want it to be a burden. I wanted them to focus on their family and their grades and their classwork, but I did want uh, to reach out and check on them. Uh, that was very, very important. And then I would say, you know, after a couple of weeks, um, kind of got our feet on, on, on steady ground. And, and at that point, um, we wanted to start pushing some, some, some ball uh, offensively, defensively. Uh, we're sending out workouts weekly. Uh, that started early, along with our uh, character development and some curriculum uh, that we, we, we stand for the athletic side of things um, so all that went out early and then probably uh, probably about a month after we, we start um, getting closer to when we would have started spring ball to be honest um, and and we started a theme which I thought was really really neat by our coaches and our program of Monday night football and we kind of launched that off um, the Monday night the Monday that we would have started spring ball and and it's a, you know, we've been doing that for the last couple of weeks now, but we, we meet uh, offensively, de defensively, Monday night football, um, and kind of go through what we would have taught during spring football, uh, the offense, the defense. And it's a good, good deal. The kids, you know, sit there and listen to their position coaches, teach them the offense and defense. And then uh, on Wednesday nights, we do a workout Wednesday um, where they, they get on and, and one of our coaches puts them through uh, 15, 20 minute workout. Uh, and it, it's kind of a CrossFit type deal and they really get, uh, they really get tired. Uh, they early, they didn't know what a 15 minute workout would do to them, but, uh, the cardio involved in that, that timed, uh, CrossFit workout, something else. So, but that, that's really neat because they get to see each other work out, uh, across from each other on the computer and, and, um, it's just a chance for us to see each other again. So, you know, we, we really took the approach of not, not trying to do it daily with our kids. They have enough on their plate. Um, but we, we, we did, you know, slowly kind of start implementing um, football and, and seeing each other, all that good stuff. Because who knows how long this thing will go. And, and obviously, <clears throat> the longer it goes, the, the more you're going to have to uh, come up with ideas and things to keep them involved. Um, so we feel like our approach has worked well. And, and without burning them out, too early, um, but also in the same breath, keeping them involved and, and kind of uh, where we're headed. So we're excited about where we are and, and, you know, like I said, ready to get back to hopefully we can start seeing them.
You mentioned character development, and that kind of plays into the whole culture, um, developing the culture that you want in a particular, and moving into a, a position where there's a tradition already. Um, just kind of walk through what that looks like for you and for, really for anybody. What, what do we mean when we say um, football culture? Yeah, I mean, football culture is kind of your program, your expectations, what's your brand, what you're about. Um, you know, our, ours is big on love and discipline kids. And, um, you know, we're going to be there for them and, 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 and love on them just like we do our own. And we're also going to be there to, to make sure they're doing the right thing. And when they're not, they're held accountable. Um, so that's kind of, you know, and I guess two short words, kind of what our program, what I've always been about. and. I think winning ball games is a byproduct of, of love and discipline kids and uh, making them do right, but, you know, there to love them. Um, and they know you care about them. Uh, so that's kind of been ours. You know, in terms of uh, coming in to Pearland, obviously, yeah, I mean, you know, 20 years, uh, Coach Heath did an unbelievable job. He's a good friend of mine. And um, it's it's definitely, I you know, I, I think taking over a very good program is – is, is, is definitely one of the tougher things to do. Um, you know, what was very important to me was continuing the, the things, um, a lot of the things that Tony had established. And, uh, you know, you want to you wanna welcome those things. You want to honor those things. Uh, that was very, very important to me. I, I didn't want to come in and and forget anything that had been done for 20 years. I don't think that's the thing to do. And we really um, relished and, and, and really, you know, took on some of the things that he had done. And uh, I love it when he comes up and, and he's always welcome and, and he deserves it. And, you know, I, I'm just a small part of, of what we're trying to continue to do. And uh, so, you know, that, that was one thing important to me. Uh, I think it's important they, you know, we, we definitely continue some of those traditions and, and really appreciate what has been laid. Now, moving forward, uh, obviously putting your thing and your culture on things, and, and obviously some things will be done different, and there has been. Um, and that's all. That takes time. That takes time um, continuing to, to iron out, you know, and, and develop and lay out your foundation as you continue to try to keep this thing at a high level. And uh, – I'm very proud of the last two years. You know, we came in and, and went 10-0 and, and and ran into a very good opponent two years in a row. And um, it's one of those deals that I think has kind of been overshadowed of really how good our football team's been the last two years, to be honest. Uh, we're in a very tough region and a very tough, you know, big 6A bracket. And uh, you got you to gotta be ready to go. And, and somebody was going to go home early that's a really good football team. And we've just been unfortunate the last two years to be on that side. Um, this past year, we played really, really well against the Dickinson team at Dickinson and, uh, you know, did the best we could with our kids and, and they, they played their tails off and I couldn't be more proud of them. So, you know, I say that to say this, we're, we're excited where we are. Uh, we're excited to get this thing going this year. I feel really good about our kids coming back. Um, they work hard. They're very unselfish. They get after it. And just the third year of doing things. I think that's always, a, you know, it's kind of been your kids since day one as freshmen and sophomores. Um, so you can really see that develop and continue to hopefully play at a high level, which Pearland has. All right. uh, talking about this fall, if you don't mind, um, what can we expect from the, the Oilers on the field this fall? And who are a few of the names we're going to be reading in the paper every Saturday morning? Yeah, I mean, uh, well, there'll be some new faces, but some of the returners, uh, you know, starting starting over at defense, I think I think that's where you got to start. Uh, I really feel good about uh, up front and, and building inside out. You know, starting with our nose guard Amari Decent, um, all the way to our our all three D linemen are returning, uh, and we're excited about those guys. So I feel like up front we we got a chance to be pretty good. Uh, and then you move right on back to some backers. We'll have some new faces there. Um, you know, some guys like Baylor Johnson. Uh, some of those guys uh, are coming back. They had a lot of experience last year for us. Uh, we returned two safeties that are really, really good. 
Um, so, and I think anytime you can build from the inside out of your defense, and that's kind of the core. Uh, it starts with our D line right to our backers and to our safeties. Uh, we got a chance to be special there. Um, and again, they they fly around and and play really hard. So we're excited about that. I think that'll be a a strength of us uh, going into this season. Uh, offensively, we graduated a couple of guys, uh, but I tell you, there's some really good ones coming from our JV. I think it starts with you know uh, one of the guys that has a chance to be our quarterback, and and Jake Sock. Uh, watched him for two years, and he'll be a junior. Um, you know, he's got to go out and earn, but you know, he's got a chance to uh, to be a really good one. Uh, you know, get in there and get some experience and. Uh, get in there and battle and, and see if he can, you know, win a spot there. Uh, and then we got in our backfield, we got we got a lot of backs coming back. We're excited about uh, Darius Hale uh, is one of those guys, Dominic Cerna. Uh, the list goes on and on. We got we got a plethora of, of backs, a stable there we're excited about. Up front, um, we got probably two or three starting old linemen coming back and two or three from the JV that I feel really good about. They'll have good size. And hopefully we can come off the ball and and establish the run game and, and play great defense, which I think is still, you know, a formula for winning. You know, we were fortunate to throw it around a little bit the last two years uh, and do some really good things with J.D. Head at, at quarterback. Um, but even even with J.D. And, and the teams we've had the last two years, you get to December and things, you got to be able to run the football. And uh, there there's a – there's a correlation there with, 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 with teams that are successful year in and year out. They usually run the ball well and, and they play good defense. So that's been a formula for us and, and it'll continue to be one um, uh, whether we can throw it well or not. You know, I think that's something you still got to hang your hat on. So we're excited about that. Well, thanks for your uh, time, Coach. And uh, let's get these kids back in the weight rooms and back on the field this fall. Yeah, no, I appreciate you. Thanks for having me on. You have a good day.